Coach always talks about every single one of his teams have run it, uh, you know, since he's been here. Uh, he always tells us stories about guys diving to the finish line. And kind of just a test of toughness to start the year. So it's kind of cool uh, to get a chance to do it. Done it four times now. So uh, it's nice to have it over with. I'm not much of a long distance guy. My tough time, I made it two seconds in inside of my tough time. So I was pretty happy about that. Um, but man, I'm, a, I'm more of a 94 feet back and forth kind of guy. So I'm glad to never have to do this again. I really enjoy my teammates and we've had a good time. We've worked extremely hard this year, so uh, it's kind of crazy that it's already here. Um, and I'm kind of having mixed emotions about this being my last first practice, but I'm just going to take it all in and, and try to really embrace the fact that this is my last go around. It went by really fast, you know, once we got into practice and everything. A lot of energy in the gym. Uh, Coach always says every single team in the country is excited first day, but you got to be able to carry that to the next days. And uh, you know, I think we had great energy, and it was a lot of fun. Knowing that it's the first, uh, last, I guess the last first practice. Um, you know, it's the, the beginning of the last for me. Um, but you know, I'm just kind of soaking it all in, and I understand that you know this is very important, and the last first game is going to be even crazier. Uh, so, you know, it's just one at a time, another another last first off the checklist, I guess. We got to be excited day two and come back ready to fight day three. Uh, the first two days were good. A lot of principles, uh, you know, fundamental stuff. Today we really got after it. Uh, and it was a good change of pace to get up and go, go up and down a lot today and compete uh, against each other. So today was fun. Now we're done at 12 something. So we got the rest of the day to kind of kick back. I got to get my body right and get in the cold tub. And the rest of my old man, <laughs> my old man body. But uh, the rest of the day I'll hang out, chill, uh, get some schoolwork done. Mondays are tough, they kind of drag along, um, but uh, you know, not having practice means I'll get to have a lot of free time after, after class to you know, rest, uh, do some treatment. Taking care of your body is extremely important, uh, especially as the season goes on, but it's important early you know, so because these are the toughest practices. You know, we're really going after each other for two and a half, three hours, so a lot of it is just maintenance. You know, uh, if you want to be as good as you were today, uh, body-wise, you got to do something. You can't just go home and, and lay down. You got to get in the cold tub. You got to get, uh, you know, get soft tissue work done. And as an athlete, you feel it necessary to stretch and, and do everything you can to, to keep your body in tip-top shape. Late night's a lot of fun. Uh, it's a good chance for us to kind of, you know, it's like our coming out party, you know, a chance for the fans to see us for the first time and for us to kind of introduce ourselves uh, for the season. Uh, we also get to scrimmage a little bit, but it's more about just having fun and, and building some excitement for the year. I'm majoring in um, public relations and journalism school and then also in American history. I kind of added the history just for fun because I had taken so many history electives before I declared for double major that you know it just made sense to go ahead and add that as my second major. Um, but I mean I've enjoyed it. It's been a little tough balancing both of those, but um, you know it's it's if you're going to be here, you might as well get the most out of it you can. Being a student athlete, you know you spend so many hours of your day here in the gym, you know doing treatments, doing trying to get better, uh, you know working on your craft as an athlete. Uh, but you also have a ridiculous amount of schoolwork as well. So uh, there's a lot of late nights and, and, and a lot of struggles. But, you know, you came here to be a student athlete. So it's a responsibility you have to hold. And, uh, you know, I, I don't mind it too much. You know, it just it makes it all more worth it when you put a lot of hard work into it. You know, my mom is a high school teacher. and She's always been on me about academics my whole life. So to be able to excel uh, on the court and in the classroom has been something that I've been really proud of. And I know that my parents have been really proud of.
introduced some new stuff, uh, worked on uh, the new shot clock. You know, they reduced the shot clock five seconds. So we worked on getting shots up uh, in a 30 second shot clock window and even faster than that. Uh, you know, didn't have a lot of subs today. So we, we pushed each other and got a lot of conditioning in. So it was, it was another good day. I think we just need to, you know, have an edge about the way we play. Um, you know, get a little bit more consistent on the defensive backboards and, you know, containing the ball and being a little bit better uh, of a defensive team, but mostly just having a little bit more of an edge, uh, knowing that we're one of the best teams in the country and that when we're playing at our, uh, at our height, uh, no one can really, you know, we should have the mentality that no one can stop us. So it's, it's more of a mental thing uh, that will get us over to the next level, I think. But, um, you know, I think we're starting to develop some of that early in practice. You know, last year I kind of had, I felt like I had a lot of pressure on myself and a lot of pressure on us. Um, and then this year there's even more expectations on our, uh, on our team, uh, a little bit less on myself. But, uh, you know, you just have to learn how to embrace it. And, you know, last year was a good uh, trial period for me, I guess, embracing it and, and facing a lot of pressure. So this year I've, I'm more confident in dealing with it and, and not letting it affect me as much so far. Obviously the season hasn't started yet, but uh, I'm, pretty, I'm pretty confident that our team will be able to handle expectations a lot better now that we've been through it once. A lot of shots up, uh, getting guys working on game-like shots where you're going to get in the game. You know, post will be working on different post move guards will come off screens and, and work on spot ups and stuff. And then a lot of dummy offense. Probably introduce some of our out of bounds stuff, and some of our other sets that we haven't got to yet, um, just to the to the new guys and freshmen. So uh, it'll be a lot of mental mental work more than physical, but it'll still be good for us. I'll be happy if uh, our season ends in Houston. Uh, you know, that's a big goal for us. I'll be happy, um, you know, I won't be happy because it's my last <laughs> chance to put on my, my Tar Heel jersey, but I'll be happy if we, you know, live up to a lot of the expectations that people put on us and we have a year that, you know, we define as good. You know, getting a championship of some kind, ACC uh, tournament, ACC regular season, Final Four, National Championship, you know, we just need to collect some hardware this year and I think we're very capable of doing that. You know, my body held up through through week one. Hopefully it'll continue to hold up through the entire season. I feel good. I feel like we've already, you know, made progress. I feel like, you know, at this point last year, we were having to harp on some of the same things, you know, over and over again, but we're moving more sharply and everything this year. So I think, I think it'll be a good year. And obviously week one doesn't say a whole lot, but it can also give you some indications uh, of how things are gonna go.